Okay, uh, this is the basics, um, what I've got in front of me. I'm starting to work on a La Santissima Marte spell. It's for a couple. Um, uh, they are married, but we want to bring them closer together because there is a, a, an element of the the lady. She wants to, to move on and do her own thing. So we want to bring them uh, closer together again and, you know, make that marriage stick. So uh, I've called Santissima Marte. Uh, I could have used the white robe, the white the white statue, but I want results to be uh, very correctly. And I just want the red aspect. I think it's best if I use her in a red form. So uh, I have the honey jar. Uh, it's all being made up. I have a little petition. Uh, it's been sealed with a little ring to symbolize their unity, their marriage, their vows. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is, I think I'll actually put this into the honey jar. Now we can seal it all up. I've got some herbs already in there. So I'm going to put a bit of ginger actually in for, I don't have any fresh, so I'll just use a dried, dried ginger for, uh, it's good to keep uh, the sexual interest there and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, a star anise. Just one of these in as well. Uh, I have my oils in, but I'll maybe put another one in. <clears throat> it's a love me oil. Uh, me oil and stay with me oil. Where are you? Getting ready to make another batch of oils, so I'll probably make videos on that. It seems like a good time for that. Okay, and what have we? Cinnamon. Okay, maybe just use the powder. I do have cinnamon sticks, but I use the powder, it should be fine. Okay, and I have sugar in there. Um, I could put a bit more in actually. So I did put in there some orris root, some damayana, uh, what else, some lavender to make sure that things um, run along smoothly. I did also put in some ladies mantle and some hybrid and some rose petals. I'll put in another few bits and pieces of rose petals. I see if, uh, I've, I've said before, I see the roses, if I ever get any that is. And I uh, dry them out and I use them in all my spells. Okay, uh, what's next? Some road opener to keep the paths open. Okay, a little bit of pheromone. And some uh, rush oil. You could use coffee if you don't have rush oil. I understand these things are quite difficult to obtain. Okay, and what I'm going to put in there is uh, some church dirt. Not not graveyard dirt, it's church dirt. It's from the Ashley Church and it works excellent in a lot of spells. So um, I might put a tiny little bit more um, honey in that. Just to flatten that down a bit. Okay. I'm going to seal the lid on the jar. Breathe some life into it. Okay. So, I'm going to light these little candles and I will be putting a larger candle here. I'm going to light these small helper lights. Uh, I could actually put a little tea light here. Normally I use a chime candle, but I use a tea light for now. And these lights on the three around it, I have a blue one for um, healing. I have an orange one for road opener and I have this little white one just for spiritual, you know, help, etc. I need to be careful that the statue doesn't go up in flames. <laughs> so it's all an offering to the, the Holy Death that she will hear uh, the call. 
and uh, she will help this couple and bring them back into, um, you know, make their love um, you know, the way it was even better than the way it was. That's what we want. We want to aim for a better relationship than the relationship that you know we had. So that's that part of the working done. And I did look at a few cards. Uh, just give me a moment. I'll pass this uh, over the side here. Okay. Uh, I have a key card here as the tree. That's a card of settling down, um, putting roots down in life. And I know you did tell me that there were issues with. Uh, my memory serves me right. I think you told me that there was issues with regards to um, you moving to do with work. So that's a significant card there. Over here, I have the heart and the mice. Um, so there's a lot of issues that are really pressing on your mind, as we know. Um, but on this side, I'm seeing the sun and that's what all good things happening. But it will happen through the bear, the bear card. And the bear to me is, it could be someone that is over you at work like a boss figure so i'm thinking that happiness will fall into place for you via work if that's making sense um if that makes sense yeah so or it could be some someone who's quite big and strong with like i'm always thinking beard longish hair but i'm being swayed towards thinking it's someone to do with your work um and that person is connected to the whole outcome which is your happiness which is the sun card but let go of the negativity the mice here are nibbling away at your heart heart card so please 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 try to do your best to be positive um uh also when you are around um your wife uh, don't put pressure, don't put any type of pressure on her. Um, just be there for her, understand what she's saying, etc. Just don't put any any force on her. And um, because I think once people feel that they're a wee bit pushed into the corner, that's when they start to panic and stuff. So I think it's best if you just let things slide. And um, she knows you're there for her, uh, you know. So what we want is to for her to see you with new eyes and um, that involves just you pulling back a little bit. Um, but like I said, I'd be interested to know your views on regards to who you might think that card is, the bear. Uh, also that tree, uh, this is because it's a love reading, I'm saying it's to do with setting down roots in life, etc. But that can be your health, so be careful. Just don't run yourself into the ground with negativity and worry. So, that's really what I have at the minute. I'll be burning your little jar. Um, uh, I'll be burning the candles on it for as long as possible. And uh, it's important you keep in touch with me because um, if anything changes, you know, I can change things at this side. So do let me know. For everyone else, it's thehouseofmagic at gmail.com uh, or you can find me in the comments section. I'll reply to you as soon as I can. Uh, so I just want to say a big, big, big thank you for all uh, your interest in these videos. It's been amazing. Uh, I never ever thought in a million years I would even come even close to 3,000 subscribers. So I'm nearly at 3,000, uh, yeah, I think I'm 3,000 at the minute. And it's mind blowing. And it's uh, it's great to have people um, who are just so nice. Uh, yeah, you, you do get, I don't wanna say too much on the subject, but you do get the people out there who are very negative and they're very, confrontational and they want to challenge you about what you know and they think you're just sitting here making it all up pulling it out of your arse and <laughs> you do get people like that but um i don't care you know i do my thing and you know as far as i'm concerned i'm here to help people and uh that's the main thing my main goal in life so as for haters they don't i don't care so for everyone else house of magic at gmail.com